Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the bi weekly contest 63. Remove colored pieces if both neighbors are the same color. So I made a, a I feel kind of silly on this one, um, but it is actually not that bad. It is basically just parity checking because if you can take a, there's no decision, right? If you can take a move, you should take a move. And no matter what move you take, it doesn't change anything because it just, it's just about the number of moves you can take. Um, because, because if you look at these uh, um, rules of this game, um, none of it allows you to change. Like they, they don't interact with each other in any way because there's no border or anything, right? or there it is bordered. So therefore, um, like Alice's move cannot change what Bob's move and so forth. So therefore, they're independent, and be, because of that, and because of their parity, you can. Um, you can figure it out. And I feel bad about this one because I had a, a just silly typo because not I don't know if it's a typo, just a silly mistake because I was trying to rush it too much. I did solve it very quick. Uh, maybe not that. Well, this is with the error. So if you watch me solve it live in the contest, I think I spent an extra like 30, 40 seconds after uh, the uh, the wrong answer. Um, so actually, I, you know, well, actually people are really fast. But, but I thought I did pretty well myself if I didn't have the wrong answer, but I watched it a little bit too much. Anyway, uh, I haven't done this yet, I think. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, chat about this farm, chat about other farms, come brag, come complain, whatever you like. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, so basically once we kind of notice all the, these things, it's just about the number of moves that each player can make from the initial board. Um, and yeah, uh, and then you just count the number of them. I think the one thing that people may get tripped up on is what if they're more than, oh, actually maybe, well, yeah, maybe if they're more than three letters in a row, um, it's actually just N minus two. It's not like N over three, which I don't know. It's easy to kind of make that or think about it that way if, if you uh, rush it a little bit. Um, I didn't make that mistake, but what I didn't do was that I... I I I did I I used the shortcut to to um to do a group by, but what I uh, messed up is that I forgot to to um to have a four to of zero, so this was returning negative number, and that's where I messed up. Uh, so mistakes were made, but I, I thought I had an if statement, but I think I just forgot. Uh, but yeah, but that's basically the idea: is that for every chunk of uh you know, and this is. Python magic, but the short answer in English though is just you look at every chunk of uh, the same character and then just take that minus two, assuming that you know obviously that's at least zero. That's the number of moves you can make in that chunk, and then you just sum up all the moves that each player can make. And if uh, if they equal, then Bob wins because Alice has to go first. Um, otherwise, yeah. Alice wins if Alice has more moves than Bob. Um, yeah, so this is going to be linear time because we just go through the linear thing. Uh, you know, we go through the way once or twice, depending on how you want to count it. But either way, linear num uh, constant number of time, linear time total. This is uh, this is linear space because you're always going to have at most two, two, um, two elements in this counter. I was just lazy with the typing. I don't know. Maybe this... Eh, I don't know. But yeah... Um, that's all I have for this one. So it's linear time, constant space. Let me know what you think. I was, uh, you could watch me solve it live during the contest. Next.
Oh no. Sloppy. Why do I return true? Oh, because they're both zero, but. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Dumb. I knew it. I was. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like these contest farms. Uh, a lot of better than me people are there as well now, so we can all chat and kind of complain about uh, Elite Code or just brag about your whatever. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, stay good, stay healthy, um, to good mental health, and I hope y'all have a great rest of the weekend, uh, and see you next contest. Bye-bye.